How cool would it be if you knew how to make charts like this to add to your budget? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make these four charts in Google Sheets and how to add them to your own spreadsheet. And you're going to like this because it's easier than you think. Let's begin with this chart here. We've got some spending categories and the budget spent in remaining amounts for each. What's nice about this chart is that it gives us a quick and easy reference to see how much of our budget is left for each category, which is a lot faster mentally than comparing these numbers over here. So how do we make this chart? Well, first you need to make sure that you have these three numbers calculated for each budget category. Once you have those, just select a cell for the first category and enter the following formula. Here we have the sparkline function, which generates charts within cells. The first thing that we do is reference the data points that we want to plot, which are the spent and remaining numbers. Then everything else that follows are name value pairs that tell the sparkline function what type of chart to make. Here we want a bar chart, so we set the chart type to bar. Then we want the color for the first number, which is the spending number, to be red. So we enter this hex code, which represents the light red that you see here. Then for the second color, which will represent the remaining amount, we set that to light gray. And once you have it working, just copy the formula down with the fill handle. For the percentage amounts on the right, we just need to divide the remaining amount by the budget amount. Then click this to turn the number into a percent and copy the formula down. Just like that, you've got your first awesome chart. Let's move to this chart next. What I like about this chart is that you can see three key pieces of information and it's not too cluttered or overcrowded. You can see how your spending trends over the year. You can see how your budget trends over the year and you can see how your spending compares to your budget every single month. And all of this info you get at a glance. That's a lot harder to see just by looking at numbers like this. So how do you create this visual in Google Sheets? Well, first you need your budget and spending numbers like this for each month. Then select all of the data and go to insert chart. Move and position the chart wherever you want it. And after that, look in the chart editor panel and under chart type, select combo chart. Then move over to customize and under chart style, set the background color and the border color. Under chart and axis titles, select the chart title and remove it. Then select horizontal axis and remove that too. Under series, select the budget series, set the type to columns and set the fill color to light blue too. Select the spending series, set the type to line, set the line color to dark red one, then make the line thickness zero and make the point size 14. Then under legend, change the font size to 18 and bold the font. Then under horizontal axis, set the font size to 16 and bold the font. Under vertical axis, set the font size to 16 and set the number format to none. Finally, under grid lines and ticks, select vertical axis and uncheck major grid lines. Awesome, that does it for this chart. So on to chart three. This chart is great because it gives you a really clear indicator for where you stand in comparison to your budget. It's pretty simple overall, but that's what makes it so effective. To make this chart, you need the budget amount, spending amount, and remaining amount. After that, set up a space in your spreadsheet where you can put the title and then a space for the chart. In the title space, merge the cells into one, add your title, then bold it and increase the font size. In the chart space below, merge the cells into one and enter this formula equals the spend amount divided by the budget amount. Then click this to turn the number into a percent and use these buttons to add or remove decimal places. After that, 
increase the font size, and change the font color as well if you want to. Now for the chart. Select the spending and remaining data and go to Insert, Chart. Position the chart over the space where you want it to be. Then for the chart type, select Donut. Under Customize, then Chart Style, set both the background color and border color to None. Under Pie Chart, set the percentage to 65% or adjust it to fit your specific design. Then under Pie Slice, for Spending, make the color Dark Red 1. Then for Remaining, make the color Light Gray 1. Under Chart and Axis Titles, delete anything there. And under Legend, select None. You now have your spending chart ready to go. Okie dokie, on to our last chart. What's great about this chart is that you can see at a glance how the target amounts for each of your savings goals compare to one another, and you can quickly see the progress that you're making on each one. Honestly, this is one of my favorite charts. So, how do you build it? Well, first, you need to have your savings goals along with the target, saved, and remaining amounts. Once you have this info, select the savings goals, saved, and to-go amounts. Then, go to Insert Chart, move and resize the chart to how you want it. Then, under the Setup tab over here, for the chart type, you want Stacked Column Chart. Then, over on Customize, under Chart Style, set the background and border colors. Under Chart and Axis Titles, get rid of the title, as well as any horizontal or vertical axis titles. Then under Series, select the Saved Series and set the fill color to Light Blue 1. Select the To Go Series and set the fill color to Light Gray 2. Then select Apply to All Series and set the line color to Light Blue 1 and increase the size to 4. Then under Legend, set the font size to 18 and bold the font. Under Horizontal Axis, set the font size to 16 and bold the font. And under Vertical Axis, set the font size to 16 and set the number format to None. Finally, under Grid Lines and Ticks, select Vertical Axis and uncheck Major Grid Lines. And that's it for this chart. Okie dokie, now that you know how to build these charts in Google Sheets, how about actually analyzing your data to generate the summary numbers that you need to begin with? Well, watch this video next where I'll show you exactly how to import your data into Google Sheets and perform actual data analysis.